A sociopath is a person with antisocial personality disorder. Sociopaths typically are narcissistic. They have a lack of remorse, a lack of shame. They tend to have a lack of feeling for others and the feelings of others. They're manipulative and in some cases extremely dangerous. They lie to others in order to achieve their goals. It's been suggested that many cult leaders have this particular condition. With people like cult leaders, the characteristics are usually more visible. You can recognize them as being potentially dangerous individuals, potentially dangerous sociopaths, because their characteristics are so obvious to the outsider. However, to the person who supports them, the person who believes in the cult leader, it can be incredibly hard to actually see those traits. The typical response from people who follow cult leaders is to insist that the characteristics or traits that may be noticed, which could be sociopathic traits, are not as they appear. They may offer other and indeed less convincing reasons, or they may simply say that you cannot truly know, offering a kind of agnostic point of view as far as the sociopathic nature of their leader. To maintain this ignorance, they have to ignore any inconvenient facts that might shatter their worldview and make their ideas of their leader's innocence obsolete. Most sociopaths can commit vile actions and not feel the least bit of remorse. So when a sociopath does something wrong, rather than taking responsibility and taking the blame for their actions, they're liable to simply blame someone else for what they've done. Sociopaths are willing to do whatever seems to be necessary in order to achieve their goals. Sociopaths may be cruel to people, to animals, and show no remorse whatsoever. Sociopaths lie to gain what they want. And of course the problem with lying so often is that unless you're very clever, your lies are going to conflict. You're going to make mutually exclusive claims which cannot support each other. Sociopaths like to lie. In fact, they love to lie about their past. Look for the errors. Given time and effort, you'll see them. Many sociopaths are delusional to the point where they believe their lies. Good examples of this can be found with cult leaders, whether we talk about Charles Manson talking about his childhood and being abused, or numerous other people who make these dramatic claims which really aren't true, but over years of saying it's true, they begin to believe it themselves. A sociopath can experience a highly emotional event without displaying the least bit of emotion. They can respond to good news with a cold blank stare. Sociopaths don't register events in the same way as non-sociopaths and may barely react to dangerous or scary situations. Sociopaths don't show you their true selves. When they first meet you, when they want to charm you, they will. They'll put their effort in, in charming you, manipulating you, when in actuality it's simply a facade. So they express themselves in a very confident way, ask questions of the other person, try and look interested, try and look like they're happy, like they're a likeable individual. But once you get to know them, that fades away. They can charm you for a while, and sometimes charm you afterwards. But typically, it's a downhill drive. In a way, you can think of sociopaths as being con men, trying to convince you, trying to manipulate you according to their agenda. Despite this charm, they harbour strong antisocial inclinations, and can exist in isolation without feeling deprived for weeks at a time. They typically exhibit above average intelligence. They very often can achieve great things academically if they're focused on their goal. However, this intelligence coupled with the ego can be their downfall. The ability to outthink many people around them, to manipulate people, to control people, and use their intelligence for their best goals can mean they're very dangerous individuals indeed. The highly focused intelligence of sociopaths makes them very dangerous 
they're usually several steps ahead when it comes down to people around them, and as a result they're able to manipulate people with some ease and skill. So when, for example, it comes down to criminal cases, sociopaths are usually quite good at covering their own tracks. Their intelligence, their cunning, places them steps ahead of the competition. Sociopaths typically prey on the weak, because they're easier to manipulate. They stay away from the strong, because they're hard to manipulate. And so they shape the people they can get into the form which best suits them. Cult leaders typically look for people who are sad, insecure, looking for meaning in life, because these people are the weakest. These people are the easiest to manipulate. And if you can take them, break them down, and build them up in your image, they can be easy to control. 